Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my session. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, uh, how to remove columns in data frame. So let's get started. Let's import our pandas library. And let's create a variable called data and I'll be using uh, Iris dataset and, and for your information I'll be uh, I'll also be posting the link of the dataset along with the video so that you can practice along so let's have a look at this data set by dot head method. So here it is, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. Basically these are the features of flowers and according to this, the species of the flower is decided. So, uh, but in this video, we'll only be focusing about how to remove the columns. The first way is uh, simple enough. Uh, you can say data dot draw and then you can pass the name of the column that you want to draw. Supposing, supposingly you want uh, sepal length to be draw. So let's draw sepal length and let's see what is the result. It will give me an error. And why so? Because axis is not found now you guys must be wondering what is an axis what has it got to do with an column i'll be doing a separate video for axis but for the time being let's say axis equal to one now when i say axis equal to one it uh, it means that it is referring to the columns that is the vertical and if I say axis equal to zero, that represents the rows. So I want the sepal length column to be dropped. That's why axis equal to one. So you can see the sepal length column is gone. But there is still a twist in this code. When you recall this data set, you see that sepal length is again is a, uh, the sepal length again appears on the uh, data set now why is it so because we have not used a parameter known as in place so we have to set in place equals to true that means we want this operation in place now sepal length column is gone now what if you have to draw uh, multiple columns at once it's uh, very easy let's see data dot drop and now we will pass the list of the names of the column so let's say sepal width and petal width we want to drop and similarly axis equals to one that is for the columns and uh, in place true now let's have a look at our data set working perfectly now uh, what if we want to drop a number of rows let's forget about the call so we have to drop let's say first two rows now uh, the column names were specified but the rows name is not given to us 
So we'll consider this index as the name 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's try. Data dot drop and zero comma one axis equal to zero. If this time we want row so zero and in place equals to two. Let's have a look at our data set now. Yeah, you can see the zero and one rows are gone. So these are some of the ways by which we can manipulate the columns and also we can drop some of the rows. So, uh, and I'll also be uh, making uh, a separate video for access and in place. Don't worry about that. We'll go in much detail uh, so that's it guys that's it for today and if you have any queries please uh, feel free to comment down it thank you so much